Hey YouTube, it's Test Test One back. I have a 1.6 figure I'd like to review. It's the 30 uh, Rambo 3. The, uh, I think, I'm pretty sure this one that I've received uh, is in the second wave. I think it's uh, the, still was the first wave. So this is the first wave of the, the Rambos. It's just that uh, pop culture gets their stuff over by containers it takes a long time to get them over so luckily it's just been released and uh, it's before the second wave so I was very lucky in that way so very I'm going to do a quick review of all of the well an unboxing pretty much I've unboxed everything out so I'll show you what it comes with and a quick talk about the figure itself let's get over here with an extra five hands A explosive device. Two normal arrows, and they're a little bit wet, weathered. Two explosive tip arrows. Three, sorry, explosive tip arrows. Bazooka. Probably won't be using the bazooka. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of uh, posing him with the bazooka, but it is well made. The explosive bazooka tip. I just oh wrong wing. That squeezes in there nicely. Automatic machine gun. Not sure of the brand or the type of guns with moving points uh, at the back. They've got a lever action here. The magazine comes out showing the bullets. You also can pull this chamber forward for the, the grenade launching part of the gun. It does come with a little bit of grenade type thing. You can squeeze into there. I think you just shove it in there. The diagram, it comes with a diagram. Shove it in the back there, close it up. It's ready for shooting. There is an instruction that tells you all about that. Well, it doesn't show you much, just, just images really. Anyway, right, uh, the crossbow pouch, which you can carry most of his stuff in, so probably would be cool to have that wrapped over his shoulder and uh, him holding the crossbow. I'm not going to get as much on him as I possibly can, uh, even though in the movie it was spread out even in the bag. He was wearing this bag at different times and you know, then he was wearing the crossbow bag. So there's the bag anyway. And the bow and arrow was used at a different time the bazooka was used. I, I, yeah, so it was just, just going to see what I can squeeze on him and to make him sort of look half decent. Beautiful crossbow, power bow, or whatever you call it. A watch, which I'll be putting on him soon. I also have his necklace uh, already on him, so that's uh, that. And you do get some spare studs, in case uh, the ones come off his pants. And some, whoops, extra pegs. And I've just lost the neck peg, I think it is, but uh, it, it may be a, a variable neck peg, possibly, and some hand um, pegs. Here's the uh, yeah. the figure itself. The sculpt is really good. There's the necklace I was telling you about. Uh, we do have, yeah, could be. Yeah, it's a slightly longer, slightly longer peg for the purpose of wearing the you know, clothing. His jacket it raises the head up just a fraction. Otherwise, without the jacket, you can have him like this. <clears throat> just drop it back. Right, it's uh, he it does have his his knife attached to the side. 
I'm not going to pull it out because this is not studded, it's glued on, I, I believe it's glued on. So it, you just flick it forward and then pull the knife out. I don't really want to do it because I, I don't want to have the risk of uh, busting this little flat part holding the, the knife in. The overall tan of the, 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 the figure is pretty good. Um, very accurate to the the movie. He was quite tanned in the movie. The body shape is fantastic. I'm just going to do a quick. Is fantastic. Very very like uh, the Sterling body. You know, with the backs, the very flat, straight back, shoulders pinned back. It's pretty much spot on with the with the shape. The, the, the weathering in the pants, he do, does have a knife in his boot as well. The weathering in the boots are cool. Now the movability is limited because he's wearing cotton pants. Um, the, the knee joints seem to be okay. A little bit on the loose side, but not not uh, to the degree where it's floppy. But it's a little bit loose. The the disadvantage of having one of these figures is it, it doesn't come with a stand. Three zeros don't make stands, uh, so you you're better off buying a custom one or getting one made. It would be a lot better with a with a stand. The only uh, issue I have uh, with this. Um, seamless type arms is that um, really with this type of rubber it's not like the fire scene or the TB league uh, bodies are as soft it distorts and puts a lot of pressure on the on the the joints so it's, I can feel the pressure on that now I want to push down already and it's not even fully uh, articulated so I don't recommend uh, over bending these arms, um, here is the possibility of, of splitting over a period of time. So, recommendations uh, from experience of uh, dealing with these figures, I prefer to have them in a museum pose. Uh, the crunch was interesting when I did the crunch, the body came half, it popped out. So. <laughs> Um, do not crunch this figure. Whatever you do, do not crunch this. This is a rigid peg. You will snap that peg. So do not do what I just done because it's you're going to have big problems if that breaks. Real big problems. So do not, do not crunch him. Do not crunch him. He's not made for it. Do not try it. Just leave him in a, a, a pose where you can just you can twist his body a bit. And that's it. The pants pretty much are level, lined level with the joining hip part. So it, the, you have to keep the pants up as high as possible. That would probably stain, the, the, which doesn't really matter, but it's not actually touching his upper torso. So there's no chance of stain, staining his upper torso unless you put the singlet and the jacket on without washing them. The sculpt is a pretty, is amazing. Oh, I'm just really sort of, I think that the hit it in one there really. It's a, it's a really good head sculpt, and that's the bonus of this figure. The only, only thing I've got to nitpick about this figure now is that he had a scar in the movie on his left cheekbone. It's not there, and I'm not sure if. All those Rambo fans out there, what happened in, in uh, First Blood when he jumps from the trees? Eh? He stitched his shot arm up on here, right here. There's no scar whatsoever on his right shoulder. That's a big no-no. That's a big, big no-no. You should have put the scar, like you've done on the chest here, on his shoulder. That's my nitpick. Oh, I'm not impressed. So, yeah, yes. You should have put the scar on you. Put, you put it, go through the effort of putting the exact marks in the right spots on his chest and you can't put one on his arm. Big, big, big flop. There, big fault. 
in this figure. So, but all around, general, generally, like I'm really happy with the with the shape of him, the way his body shape is. I'm going to quickly put some um, some gear on him and end this video. As simple as that. Got him uh, just set up with the uh, the crossbow set. Holding the crossbow, so you don't get you can't get all the arrows in there. So you get four in there. But uh, so I suppose this is just a, I don't know. I don't know. You, you got an option of you having three um, tips, missile tips, or sorry, explosive tips, or or just the two arrows. Either either. I uh, got him wearing the bag. Bag looks pretty cool. The muscularity, and I must admit, is really, really good. Yeah, that's spot on. Very fit at the time he was, Mr. Stallone. Could you include, could you use this figure as a, uh, a first blood figure? I mean, possibly, yeah, I reckon it'd be, you could, could. If you had the uh, clothing set, you could probably change the jeans, put the jeans on and, uh, you know, potato sack on him and get away with it, I think. I can't remember what colour his headband was, what he was wearing. But anyway, yeah, 3 zero did all right. Just don't overpose the arms and you should be good. And watch what uh, black things you put on there because if you possibly put that on there, that's going to stain. So be very careful what, what black parts you put on. Overall, yeah, the figure's good. I'm not going to pose the arms out. Museum pose for me. Really good figure. Very good likeness to Stallone. Body shape spot on. Thanks, 3-0, for uh, making it. And, uh, yeah, test just one out. Catch up.